Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back. This is what we have for dinner. We have another what we have for dinner video for you. This was on a Tuesday, so for Taco Tuesday, I am making a rendition of tamale pie. I first started by browning a pound of ground beef. I'm then gonna season it with a little bit of salt. I'm gonna also come in with some seasoning salt and season it really well. And then I'm gonna, of course, add black pepper because it brings out all the flavors. And then I'm also going to go in with some garlic powder and some onion powder. If you've been keeping up with my videos, you do know I like to go a little heavy on the garlic and onion powder. You can, of course, add whatever seasonings you like. However, this is just the basic seasoning for me when I'm seasoning most things. I'm then going to brown this. Now I am speeding it up just a little bit. However, I'm going to just keep it a little bit slower walking through every single step so we have a little bit of time to chat. I am going to make sure once this is brown to drain the grease off. I do want to mention that if you get any ground beef that's anything less than 80% lean, it is going to have a little more fat to it. So we're going to want to make sure to drain that off before we add our other ingredients. While I'm browning this, I just wanted to ask you guys, please comment down in the comment section if you prefer to see a daily what we have for dinner video or if you prefer to see it in a weekly setting. I do notice a lot of YouTubers will go in and do a weekly video that shows every single day what they had that week versus posting daily. Let me know. Now I'm going to come in with a can of whole kernel corn. This has been pre-drained and I'm just going to cook that in just for a little bit just to get it nice and sauteed down. Down. not for too long I would say about for two minutes once that's done I'm then gonna come in with a can of enchilada sauce I like to use the mild as you will see here um, you can get the store brand I do prefer to use the old El Paso but again you can get the store version um, I am using mild as I said before and it is the red sauce you have to be careful because they do have a green one so it is the red sauce we don't want super spicy because kids are eating this in my household and they don't like a lot of spice they can handle a little bit but not a lot so I'm adding in the mild I'm then going to go ahead and cook this down make sure that's thoroughly incorporated make sure everything is heated up so we'll walk through that step and then I'm also going to come in with some shredded cheese just a little bit on top I would say about a fourth a cup of shredded cheese I'm using Kobe Jack because that's what I had in my refrigerator but I also love to use cheddar sharp or medium cheddar on top of this and I just sprinkle it right on top now we are going to add a little bit of cornbread on top of this um, to cook it and I'm going to use that same exact cheese in my cornbread so I am personally using Jiffy. I know a lot of people don't like sweet cornbread. We like Jiffy in our household. Again, use whatever cornbread you like. You can even do a homemade cornbread if you prefer. But I do work full time as well as I am. I have three children. So I'm trying to do what's quick and tasty. So we're using Jiffy. Jiffy calls for one egg and then a third a cup of milk. So you see me adding one egg here. Now I'm going to add a little bit something special to make this tamale pie. I'm going to come in and I'm going to add some dice chilies the diced chilies i am not adding the entire can i'm going to be adding a little less than half of the can to make sure that it is not too spicy but has the right amount of spice and then i'm also going to try to get out some of that juice um this can didn't have a lot of juice as i normally has but i got a little bit now, after I add my diced chilies, again, I'm going to go back in with some of that cheese and just add about two handfuls of cheese, give or take. OK, I didn't measure anything. If you want a measurement, I would say about a fourth to a, a third of a cup of shredded cheese. And I am gonna go back in and add a tiny bit more of milk. I know Jiffy calls for a third of cup as I said prior, but just so I can make sure that this spreads and is not too thick, I'm just adding a touch more of milk. I would say about two tablespoons more just to make it a little thinner so it spreads easier. So this is gonna be our pepper. You can use jalapeno peppers. I use green chilies. This is gonna be our chili and, and cheese cornbread that we're going to add on top and it's really going to bring this dish together so we're going to get that all nicely incorporated and stirred together we're going to make sure 
that it's nice and thin here so it can spread easily on top. In the meantime, while you're watching this, I just want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. I know it's not that many, but I am truly appreciative of the subscribers who have come over and watch my videos. It is allowing me to express my creativity, my cooking, what I do for my family, and I'm actually really enjoying it. So thank you guys for all of your comments, all your likes, shares, subscribes, and all the love that you've been showing. Now that we have that mixed up and combined, I'm going to go ahead and start to pour this on top of our meat mixture, as you'll see shortly. And then we're going to get this into the oven on 365 and it's going to take about 25 minutes. I like to make sure it's golden brown and what you can actually do is stick a toothpick through the middle and once it comes out clean, then you know that this is done. Would you like to say something? What you want to say, baby? If you think this video of dinner was yummy, like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs> We're not on the bye part yet, but my daughter was just waiting to say something. She loves helping me with these videos, so I definitely want to make her and incorporate her into what I'm doing. She actually loves cooking, and so... This has been a fun thing for her as well. You're going to see me just go ahead and add that cornbread mixture right on top. And I just kind of spread it across. It will spread by itself, but I like to just help it along by spreading it to every single corner, making sure everything is nice and covered. And then we're going to pop that into the oven again on 365 for about 20 to 25 minutes until it's golden brown. It's going to come out looking something like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and slice it up. Now you can allow it to cool so that you can get a better cut. However, for the sake of this video, I wanted to make sure I go ahead and slice directly into it. Allow you guys to see how it looks. Get it plated up. And my family was extremely hungry. They love tamale pie, especially when it's fresh and hot out of the oven. That cornbread is just so moist and along with the cheesiness and the warmness of the enchilada sauce, it's just the perfect warming comfort food. You know what? You definitely can use this for a cool fall night. Absolutely delicious. So there you have it. Another recipe for you guys. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Tamale pie for Taco Tuesday. So